Okay, um, we're going to start another drawing here. Completely out of my imagination, no samples, and we're just going to start doodling here. So welcome to my channel, I hope you enjoy this sketch. I will try and get them up as quickly as I can. Enjoy! So as you can tell, I'm sort of doing a... Um sort of a snail, sort of shell, circle shell pattern. I really like this shape. Um, I think it's a, it's a fun shape to draw. I've done them before. They're fun, I really enjoy them. Even though I know it's a shell shaped, I still don't know how I'm going to attach it to a character. It could be just snail shaped, it could be have a snail body, it could have just about anything. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait till I get it done. And then I'm going to come up with a way that I can make it work for me. I am currently working on a painting and I have started it. Part one is up and I will continue to work on it. You guys are going to have to wait for the next installment for it. That's all. So my apologies for that. So everyone gets to enjoy my sketches. Sometimes they're just shapes, like any doodles, you know. Not everything that people do turn out to be this great drawing. Sometimes you're just working with shades, sometimes you're working with lights and how things reflect and you're doing boxes and eyeballs or whatever. In my mind, I'm already looking at this and I'm thinking and I'm looking where it's positioned on the page and I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the top, what's going to be the bottom. So now we can go up, we can do a you know, general snail, we can turn the page. Let's go this way. Let's do it in a way that we just didn't even consider. It's generally not something I put into my thought process at the beginning. A lot of times when you do stuff like this and you draw it, and it's something recognizable, your mind comes up with the obvious answer of how you should do it. And sometimes you do it that way. But sometimes it's fun to do it in a way that it isn't expected. It's like, well, that'd be the obvious choice, but I'm going to do it this way. So that's what I'm always looking for. <laughs> this guy's ended up with a little bit of a grumpy look. Sometimes I can make him happy. Sometimes I make him too happy. Sometimes I get this really sort of grumpy grumpy appeal to his face. Now I know there's a lot of people big on anatomy, you know, know the, know the bone structure and, you know, before you can actually draw muscles and arms and, you know, how, how does this go? How does it lead? Um, that's not part of this process right now that I'm doing. In fact, this creature doesn't exist. We're just having fun. I'm making this up, obviously. You should know your anatomy, but this isn't an anatomy drawing. At this stage, you're just having fun. Getting the ideas onto the page as quick as you can come at them. You know, I, I love fantasy art. I love a lot of the stuff that's out there now. You don't know what his skeletal structure is like. He's got to have some some form here in order to help hold that shell. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do his legs yet. I haven't figured that out at all. Um, I'm not leaving a lot of room for them, so I'm trying to come up with an idea. Sometimes the, the ideas just sort of present themselves, and if I leave them late enough, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes it just like completely fails. Nothing wrong with drawings that fail. I don't know, should we give him a tail? Does he need a tail? I don't think I want to give him a tail. He's already got the shell there. No, no, I don't think he needs a tail. It's 
instead of drawing the frame staying within it we're going to draw the frame and we're going to break outside of it because of course there's never any rules and anyone who tells you there's rules is wrong i always like to do something a little bit fun with the background myself i'm always a sucker for details and i bite off more than i can chew sometimes but i'm never disappointed with the final look so yeah these are basically very messy circles i'm just repeating repetition over and over and over establishing here is a nice pattern on the background sort of scaly leathery texture background so we'll add some variety in there exception to every rule whenever you create a pattern break your pattern so doing stuff like this can be really tedious and repetitive and slow so for anyone who's wondering <laughs> my hands cramping up and i'm getting a kink in my neck <laughs> So in doing what I do with my sketches, I really am just creating my own world. My biggest um, thing in art school was whenever you did a drawing, an instructor would, you know, one of the professors would come and they'd look at it and go, that looks a lot like Hieronymus Bosch, or that looks a lot like whatever. Doing realism, they'll tell you, go look at Caravaggio, go look at Rembrandt, go look at David, go look at Edward Monk, go look at Dali, go look at Warhol doesn't matter what you do everyone wants you to, oh that looks a lot like such and such you should go look at their work well i guess it's good to know about those artists know who they are understand you know your art history i mean i don't want to copy them i don't want to see how they did it i enjoy everyone's art for what it is and for its own special properties but i never feel the need to bring other people's art into mine like, what's the point of doing my art if I'm going to be doing copies of someone else's art? I have never felt like I wanted to look like someone else. I look like me. All right, so there we go. There's our final drawing. Remember to like and subscribe. It would really help me out. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And share with anyone that you feel that would really enjoy this video and we will talk to you all later have a great day